Now to a little morning motivation from the woman redefining success and discovering what it really means to be happy. Author Laura Gassner Otting made this her mission with her book Limitless, how to ignore everybody, carve your own path and live your best life. And we're lucky enough to have her joining us this morning. Woo! Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I love this. So your book is inspiring people to make big changes based on the idea that success is not success is not making us happy. I spent 20 years doing executive search for people who are at the very top of their game and they were super successful, which is why I was talking to them as a headhunter. But they weren't always happy, mm -hmm. which is why they were talking to me. And I was fascinated by this idea that success didn't always equal happiness. That, and, and I think we've all seen versions of that. And so you went in to figure out why and how we can fix this. So you write that we have to learn to ignore everybody else yes. in order to define our own happiness. How yes. do we do that? Yeah, well, it starts by no longer giving votes to people in our lives who shouldn't even have voices. And that includes the one in our own head, too. Yeah, I heard, mmm, mm -hmm. you know, that true, true, <laughs> true. I know, and so it sounds like an easy concept, but it's not necessarily easy to execute. It's not, and here's why. We all have these scorecards, these ballots, these checklists that we've been carrying around in our back pockets since before we even remember how we got them. And maybe it was a teacher or a parent or a boss or somebody telling you, you need to, you should, you have to get the right job, have the right house, have the right spouse, make the right money, have the right title, all these things. And you're like, well, and you think maybe. Those are all gonna make you happy. You think they're all going to make you happy, but this all-out monolithic pursuit of success, in fact, allows you to go, oh, well, I built this great life. Now what? But it maybe it was for somebody else. Right, right. That's so true. Okay, so I want to show of hands because I'm hearing a lot of reaction like <laughs> uh, from the audience. How many here have let other people's versions of success influence what you chose to do in your life? We have, okay, we have a decent amount of hands right And for here. how many of you, how many of those decisions caused you happiness, caused you joy, caused you fulfillment? Uh, yeah, see, wow. no more hands. I mean, like, <laughs> uh, that's pretty significant. Right? Wow, all right, so we're gonna walk over here because we have a ballot yeah. box. You're gonna show us something that will uh, visualize what you're talking about here, right? All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to take everybody else's votes. <laughs> Okay, all those things that are supposed to be so important to what's going to make you happy, and get rid of them. There you go. <laughs> it's that easy. Just say, I'm done with this. I'm right. done with this. What are your tips to then carving your own path? If you're not listening to everybody else, how do you carve your own path in a true way? So you have to start by asking yourselves very simple questions. Number one, what's going to cause me joy? Mm -hmm. What's going to, what, when am I at my very best? What actually matters to me? And then what are you doing now, today, right now, in order to help you be that person, to spend more time as that person? Because when you're there, actually having success in that way is going to make you limitless. All right, I love it. I want to be limitless. <laughs> Laura, thank you so thank much. You. We appreciate your time. And you, too, can learn about becoming limitless by taking Laura's assessment. It's on our website at goodmorningamerica.com. Limitless is out now. And for our audience today, guess what? You are all getting your own. <laughs>